I speak to Edward? Who is this? Hello, this is Captain Jim Waters. How are you, sir? It's who? This is Captain Jim Waters. How are you, sir? Captain Jim Waters? Why are you calling me at 10 o'clock at night time? I'm sleeping over here trying to go to sleep. I'm calling from Pensacola, Florida. How are you, sir? What's up? I'm calling to let you know about your son. Okay, what about him? I'm letting you know that he had a little nervous breakdown, but don't worry, we're going to take care of him. Where you put? Where you sending him? We're going to send him back home. You're going to send him back home? Why don't you keep him there? Keep him in the Navy. Don't send him home. He belongs to you guys now. We don't want him up here. He belongs to the Navy. I understand that, sir, but he had a breakdown, and we're going to have to send him back home immediately. I'll be the breakdown. He's all right now. We restrained him. He threw down some tables, some chairs, but he's all right. We, we restrained him. You restrained him? Yeah. When are you sending him back home? We're going to send him back home once he calms down completely. But I'll I didn't... just take my name down. My name is Jim Waters, Captain Jim Waters. Okay, sir. And, uh, I, I really do apologize for what has happened but and what has transpired, but your son really did not want to stay in the United States military. Is he, what kind of discharge is he getting? What? What kind of discharge is he getting? He's getting an admirable discharge. Admirable discharge. Yes, sir, and he'll be at home shortly within, within August. Next month? Yes, sir. How can you call me so late at night? I apologize for the late call, but this breakdown just happened last hour, so I'm just keeping you informed. Oh, well, thanks for calling me. Um, I knew we were having problems down there. I was trying to convince him to stay in the Navy, but he wanted to get out. So, so I guess he had a breakdown, huh? Apparently... His recruiter from New York called as well. Yeah. And they had a few unpleasant words with one another. I'm not sure what happened with you, but apparently he was already on the verge of breakdown when he did break down. What kind of breakdown is it? Emotional breakdown? He just flipped out a little bit, but we restrained him. Don't worry. It took a lot of us to restrain him, but he's all right. Is he in the break? Did you send him to the break? He's okay. Don't worry about it. He's okay. he's going to be fine. He's, I can't really tell you where we have him, but he's going to be fine. We we have him sedated. Is he in the hospital? No. No, he, we have him sedated. Oh, okay. The medic gave him some val some Valium or something? No, we, we had to give him a shot. Oh, okay. But he's all right. He's sleeping right now. He'll be all right in the morning. We we got his cell phone, and we checked his last calls, and we noticed he spoke to you earlier. Yeah. Yeah, so we decided to call you. We assume you are his father. Yeah, I am. Wow. It seems like he, he has your name saved under Special Edward. Yeah, Special Ed. These kids are kids around with me like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, how come, how come you had to call me? Why did you call me, though? Because, um, is that the war or something? Well, I have to do it for legal reasons, yes. But I want to let you know because you already knew he was leaving. Yeah. I was hoping that, see, I was trying to convince him to uh, ask the neighbor to keep him in because the fence he made was a, a very small fence compared to getting thrown out of the Navy. But when he talked to the chief, he told the chief that uh, he wanted out. But he, he, he I think he just said that because he was very upset. And, uh, you know, he, so I was trying to convince him that, you know, the Navy wouldn't throw him out for the offense he did. He would they, they would probably take rank away and, and uh, take monies from him, but 
they wouldn't they wouldn't have the, the, the dismissed the service unless he said that because he said to the chief that he wanted out. So I kept telling them, look, you got to ask the Navy to to, uh, to to let you stay in. And if you ask them, you know, beg them, beg them to let you stay in, they probably let you stay in because you didn't do anything that really bad. I mean, it's I mean, you committed a, you, uh, you 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 broke some rules, but. You never went AWOL UA. So I was trying to convince the, to, to ask the, uh, the superiors to stay in. And I, I wasn't getting anywhere. I so, see. Uh, so I, I guess all this uh, stress we've been putting them through, I mean, I've been calling them up and I went to the recruiter and had the recruiter call him. I mean, the recruiter was concerned about him because he's a good guy. And uh, I also... Uh, I almost came down, flew down to Pensacola myself to talk to the Navy, but I said, but, but I was in the service, I'm a veteran. So, like, I, I, I know from experience that if, if, when you get in trouble, if, 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 you, if you convince the uh, officer that you're sorry, sometimes they give you a break. And, you know, I know, because I was in the Marine Corps for two years. I, I, was, I, you know, I had a three-year enlistment. So I know that, that, you know, people have heart. You know, like, you know, they have hearts, and like, you know, they have common sense, and, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll punish you, but they will they will throw you out unless you're doing something very, very, very serious. And what he, the defense he did wasn't that serious. So, you know, I, I was trying to just beg, 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 beg his officers to forgive him, for, forgive him for what he said. But I couldn't convince him to do that. And then uh, the officer, he, he was making a bad mistake, and then... Um, I went to see the recruiter today. He was surprised at what happened too. So he he called him up and uh, just to talk to him. And um, apparently we we just upset him more. I don't know. Well, he's all right now. He's just sedated. He's gonna wake up fine tomorrow morning. But in any case, I mean, uh, it's just protocol. If they specify they want to go UA then we have no other alternative but to take care of that. I see. Yes, and he did not want any part other of the military of the United States Navy. He specified that, and trust me, I even spoke to him personally, and I try to convince him as well, but he does not want any part of the military after our conversation, he started to flip out. Oh. But in any case, we did restrain him. We didn't hurt him. We gave him a shot, and he just went to sleep. He'll be all right. Okay. But um, in any case, if you speak to him tomorrow, just um, you might have to refresh his memory. Uh, my my name is Captain Jim Waters. Okay, Captain Jim Waters, okay. If you want to write my name down, just in case. Okay, hold on. Hey, Captain? Yes. What's, what's the telephone number there? It's 954-210-4125. That's, that's 954-210-4125. Yes, and if you don't get in contact with that number, you could just call... Your son's cell phone, uh, he, he should pick up the phone tomorrow morning. Okay, Captain. And you're his commanding officer? Yes. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. You're his CO. I appreciate you calling me. I mean, uh, I really do. And uh, I appreciate you talking to him about the, the service. And uh, it's really a shame this has happened, you know? Yes. Uh, I feel responsible for it myself because I, I sort of... Uh, pushed him towards the Navy, you know. He didn't seem to know what he wanted, and I thought the Navy would really do it for him, you know. But apparently, I was wrong, and uh, I failed. It was my, it's really my fault, and uh, my failure, you know. So what am I gonna do, what are we gonna do now? We have to go to plan B and think of something else that he could do. But you know, getting out with an admin discharge isn't good. It's just, uh, it's not as bad as uh, dishonorable, but gonna have a rough time getting work out there. I mean, a good job anyway. I'm sure he'll find something, you know. It. I won't worry about it now. It's not as bad as the dishonorable discharge. That's that's the worst. I know, I know, I know. It's not as it, bad as that. 
You know, it, it, it's really a shame because both his grandfathers were in the Second World War. And so my father was in the Omaha Beach D-Day. He was a Bronze Star. And uh, his fa- it, my, my, my ex-wife's father, his other grandfather, fought on the B-29s. He was in the bubble. And uh, he, he also was, he was wounded. And uh, matter of fact, he refused to take uh, money for that. Like they, they, his machine gun had blown up in the bubble and it, some, a lot of shrapnel went into his leg. And um, when he got back, they offered him to get out and also to get money for it. He refused. And he, and, uh, he stayed in the service. And, and not only that, but up to his 70th birthday, my, ex, uh, my, my, my ex-mother-in-law would, used to take shrapnel out of his leg. I mean, he's come up out of his leg up to 70 years old. So that's the type of family he came from, you know. And also his uncle was a veteran, and I'm a veteran. So I thought for sure that he was going to do good in the service, but apparently I was wrong. If anything, I mean, I'm sure he has another calling in life, you know. And I won't worry. It's, it'll be fine. Okay, Captain, I'm glad you called me. It made me feel better, and uh, I'll try to call him tomorrow. By the way, he's still on legal hold, right? Yes, yes, he'll be on legal hold for at least another week. And how are you saying that he'll be probably home sometime in August? Yes, yes, August. Um, no later than the end of August. Okay, sir, thanks for calling me. If I have any, any questions, I'll call you back. Thank you, Captain. No problem. Have a good night, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. You know, I get paid sick days. You may need them because you're sick in the head. I gotta go to sleep now, okay? Let me go to sleep. Can I go to sleep now? Can we finish up now? Psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 